Live art. There is nothing quite as fun as drawing for an audience. So sign up for live art today and show the world what you can do. Live will be the admin's username or broadcast link at the origin localhost 4000. Here's the site. So we'll go ahead and take a look here. We have this editor and we can draw things. It says it's not broadcasting. We can also allow connections from viewers. So then we can go back and see where broadcasting is MCC. And we can join a stream. So we can join like the stream MCC. Here though, we're not actually seeing a picture of that, that thing. So what we can do though <clears throat> is go ahead and open up the uh, settings, developer tools. And I'm going to show you something a little interesting about this website. So I'm going to make it really small. You'll see that we get this, uh-oh, SpaghettiO, please make your window bigger, return to previous page or go home. And if we go ahead and throw in this here, so I'm going to have on error is alert one and is. While the window is small, and then we make the window bigger, what we'll see as we click here on the elements, as we can actually get this on error alert equals one in the tag. All right, so let's talk about what's going on a little bit and why that happens and what we can do about it. All right, so here we have the source code and one of the things that's going to be important is this fan mail link. I'll show you the fan mail link. So here's the fan mail link submission, and we can actually put in any URL we want. It's going to send this sort of suspicious spam email, and then presumably the admin is going to click on that link to win $100,000. So that's, that's sort of exciting. But that link can only be an HTTP or an HTTPS link. Okay, here we again see that we need to be on localhost 4000. And here we see the code for that uh-oh SpaghettiO page. One thing you'll notice is it's using these hash parameters. And then over here, we'll see that those parameters, those hash parameters are ending up in this image source. Right? So this came from the client source code for um, the component viewer. Okay. So we have all those things. Now, Here's a old CTF problem, a write-up from Ethan Wu from Red Pwn CTF 2021. This is for JS React, which is normally resistant to cross-site scripting, which is what we would want to do to get the um, username from that admin user so that we can get it out. But what was noted at that time is if we have is attribute, that's going to tell it that this is in fact a custom HTML component and to go ahead and just pass those additional parameters to the HTML instead of trying to handle them in React. So that's how we were able to get that on error over there. All right, so I've hosted this web page here. So we're going to take a little iframe. It was important that it was too small to begin with. That too small to begin with is going to generate the uh oh SpaghettiO error message. So we put it in a frame, we make that iframe small, 
Then after a second, we're going to make it big. And then what will happen is it's going to look at this. There's the IS that we were talking about. It's going to have an error because this bob.jpg does not exist. And then it's going to set the window location to the origin, so the website that I'm coming from, plus local storage username. Okay, so we'll put all that together. We'll send, we have that success. And we'll look in our access logs. There came from Saturn mcc2.html. And then we have a get for this string here, which contains the flag, the Pico CTF, beam me up React e, EB269, E4C. So if we copy this here, we can throw this over here, replace these URL encoded characters with the squiggles and we'll have our flag and uh, 500 more points.